Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. It's good to have you back with us at Somaliland National Television. My name is Mohammed Adan, here to update you with the latest stories making headlines. These are the stories to come. President of Somaliland attends a graduation ceremony at Admas University. University of Hargeisa hosts a conference on technological trends. Who raises fears of Ebola spread in Liberia? President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanu unveiled a new office at the headquarters of the National Immigration Agency to serve the country in issuing the new electronic passport of Somaliland. President Ahmed Silanu cut the ribbon of new office built at the headquarters of the National Immigration Agency. The new office is designated to serve Somaliland and the Immigration Agency in issuing the new electronic passport of Somaliland. The president was accompanied by a number of government officials, which included the commanders of the immigration agency. If the government successfully issues the electronic passport, Belarus will be able to travel with the new Somaliland passport to countries around the world in a way which is more safer and reliable. Somaliland citizens will also be able to travel to Saudi Arabia and the Hajj destinations of Mecca with the new passports. The president of Somaliland, accompanied by a number of high-profile government officials, attended a ceremonial event hosted by Admas University to celebrate the graduation of a number of students from the university. The event hosted an overwhelming number of political figures, students and civil society members. The president of Admas University spoke at the event and noted the significant role that the university has been playing in producing a number of intellectuals in all sectors ever since it was established. The president of Admas University says he has had the aim of increasing the number of students receiving higher education and providing more opportunities to youth nationwide. Other government officials included the Minister of Education, Samsung Addi Aden. She spoke at the event and praised the efforts of Admas University and the role it constantly played in providing education to thousands of students across Somaliland, hoping that the university would increase its current role in education. President of Somaliland, Ahmed Mohamed Mohamed Silani, provided a keynote speech at the event, taking several approaches on education and the role that the government is seeking to play in providing access of education to all Somaliland citizens. President Ahmed Silani stated his admiration for the university and its students and commended the university for the constant task it takes in educating Somaliland students and the long lasting legacy. It is sought to leave behind for Somaliland as it constantly fills educational voids. President Ahmed Mohamed Mohamud pledged the students to provide jobs and urged them to continue furthering their knowledge and pursue on utilizing the country resources. Finally, the president also called on the students to avoid anything that would harm their lives, their patriotism and stumble on contemporary ways of employing themselves. The event concluded with the president providing certificates to the new graduates of Admas University. Minister of Sports, Youth and Tourism Ali Saeed Regal, alongside a number of other governmental and non-governmental figures, attended a youth conference organized by SYF, a youth group that constantly confesses support and assistance for the youth development projects. Minister Ali Saeed Regal, speaking at the event, underlined the significance of helping develop youth creativity and the role they sought to play in all fields of society. Ali Saeed Regal pointed out the prospective plans in the pipeline to ensure that youth are able to participate in all fields, not only in politics, but similarly other fields including the economy. The Minister of Youth, Sports and Tourism stated that ministry continues to play a major role in providing assistance to youth as well as increasing youth entertainment programs. Minister Regal commended efforts of SYF and urged them to sustain their work in further fructifying duties taken upon them. Other keynote speakers at the event continued to reiterate the importance of helping develop youth entertainment programs as well as employment efforts. The University of Hargeisa hosted a conference focused on the continuing technological trends made by Somaliland as well as ways of furthering works to ensure additional progress is made toward technology. The event had in attendance Minister of Parliamentary Liaisons, Technology and Research alongside notable governmental and non-governmental officials. The event was hugely focused on the day-to-day -day worldwide trends made toward technology and the technological trends made by Somaliland in recent years. Minister of Parliamentary Liaison, 
technology and research provided the opening remarks of the event. He explained the role that the ministry continues to play in ensuring progress on the technology and keeping Somaliland citizens updated with the positive use of technology rather than the negative aspects of technology. The minister stressed the need of technological advances by every developing nation along with speeding up use and follow of all citizens. He stated that this could also come with the attainment of thriving economy. Minister of Parliamentary Liaison, Technology and Research reiterated plans in the pipeline for the ministry to ensure a sparkling progress and a technological leap by Somaliland and the prospect of more development by the technology sector. Other keynote speakers of the university lecturers, officials and our esteemed guests continue to reiterate the overwhelming need of keeping updated with the technology trends and how crucial it is to the economy and education of Somaliland. Attendees of the ceremonial event called on the government to pay more efforts in making sure that Somaliland keeps updated with the world on a number of aspects including technology which made the whole world a small district of which its inhabitants are able to communicate as though they live in one home. You're still watching the English news on Somaliland National Television, the only Somali speaking channel with an English news. And now for the main international headlines in India. <music> Liberia is set to be hit by a new wave of Ebola cases in the next few weeks. According to the World Health Organization, who thousands of people will present with the symptoms as the country's weak public health system struggles to cope with the epidemic. Who says the problem is not enough treatment centers? Those infected are being turned away from overstretched clinics. When they are forced to return home, they inevitably infect others. Half of those 2,000 or more people have died from the current outbreak in West Africa have been in Liberia. Quarantining whole communities appears not to be effective and it inflicted suffering and hardship. One piece of good news in Nigeria says it has managed to contain the outbreak. There with only one out of the 19 confirmed cases still being treated in isolation. Nigeria has reported seven deaths out of the 19 cases. WHO believes it could take to nine months to contain the epidemic which may infect up to 20,000 people in the West Africa region. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining. You can catch us at the same time tomorrow. Until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.